I am. Um, <clears throat> you know the wedding? Yeah. Well, it turns out I am. Um, <laughs> I can't afford it. I was going to flog this necklace that my ex gave us to pay for the wedding, and I was promised. I was promised that it was worth a small fortune, you know, enough to cover the wedding and then some. And then I found out yesterday that it's practically worthless. I don't believe this. I'm so sorry. You made out like you had the money? Well, I thought I did. You have literally been given every chance to say that you don't have it, but you assured us over and over again that you did. I thought it was a dead cert. And you waited until I was in me dress to tell us all this. No, I tried telling you last night. And then you asked us to walk you down the aisle and you said all that lovely stuff and I just didn't want to let you down. Oh, you've been one huge disappointment me whole life. You should be used to it. Move. I've got to tell Matty the wedding's off. I'll come with you. I'm going to talk to Kim. Why? Well, the whole wedding's ready to go. I'll just try and convince her to deal with the finances later. No! You know what, Kerry? I don't think Kim's going to go for that. And I don't think the florist will, or the caterers. Right, well, I'm not letting this go without a fight. I said no! You have done enough damage. Ah, I want to get the sign in, so <laughs> right. Here we go. <laughs> Say watertight Brino. <laughs> watertight Brino. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, we won't need one of them. Amy's welcome to what I've got, which isn't much. Yeah, that's what they all say in the early days. Right, that is going on my socials. Oh. Now, you... Have a fantastic day, right? And don't worry, I won't be long with your mum, right? She won't be late. Oh, thanks, Mandy. And, and thank you so much for um, taking Amelia's appointment so she can make the wedding. Oh, my pleasure. That girl deserves a good day out. Come here. Oh, oh. thank you. Enjoy. Thank you, darling. Addy? Oh, hey, come on. Just heading up to your place. Really? Uh, doesn't seem much point now. <laughs> what do you mean? Daddy. Oh, Amy, no, I can't see you. It's bad luck, babe. Have you heard? The wedding's off. Me mum can't pay for it. Oh. Happy now, are you? Excuse me. This should be the happiest day of their lives and you just couldn't let them have it, could you? I've been more than clear on this. No money, no wedding. Oh, you miserly old bag. This is just typical of Kim T trying to ruin everybody's... Will you just stop it? Are you seriously trying to blame her for all this? Well, she's the one who pulled the plug. I knew something like this was going to happen. I asked you over and over again if everything was OK, and you promised us it was. I didn't mean for this to happen. I let myself believe that maybe just this once you would make sure everything was OK, but you ruin everything you touch, and I don't know why this would be any different. I'm sorry, I really am. It's all just words. I'm sorry, I've changed. All I need is a chance to make it up to you. I don't know how many times I've heard it. Look, I'm going to sort this out. I will do anything to put this right. Anything? Anything. OK, well, go home, pack your bags and get the hell out of my life, cos I don't want anything more to do with you. Well? Amy's not here. I didn't come to see Amy. Came to see you. You OK? Do you know... I thought this might be the one thing that I get right after all these years. That Amy would look back at this amazing day and go, oh, my mum did that. God. I'm the worst mother. Come on. It's true. Chloe needed me. She went through so much and where was I? Swanning around the med, belting out Cher's greatest hits. Now I've, I've ruined Amy's life. I came to tell you that uh, all is not lost. I think there's still a way of saving this wedding. <laughs>